G'day. I've recently bought this 3-in-1 oscilloscope off AliExpress. Its capabilities include being an oscilloscope, a multimeter, and a signal generator. I've been using this a little bit lately for the price I paid for this, which was around $100. It's been a pretty good tool. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you my experience with using this oscilloscope and do a quick overview of its operation in its three different modes. This is not an unboxing video. I've already opened this and I've already been using it. I do want to share with you what comes in the box though. First of all, the instruction manual. A lot of cheap imported items, the instruction manuals can be very difficult to read and understand. Lots of intentions have been lost in translation. This manual is quite a contrast to that I've found it very easy to understand with very few translation errors. That gets a big tick from me. Also in the box is a bag of different cables, two standard oscilloscope probes with a times one and times ten multiplier switch on the side. It also came with a pair of pin type probes with a very nice pointy pin under the cap and you won't want to lose these caps because that pin is very pointy indeed and if you chuck it in your toolbox you're probably going to hurt yourself. It also came with a pair of alligator clips and the twist cam lock type connector. Also a little packet of tools for doing your fine adjustments. Finally a USB A to USB C type cable which is primarily used for charging the device. Here's the actual unit. It's a nice handheld size and roughly equivalent to my other multimeters. It does have the same 1 amp and 10 amp maxed fused links like you would expect with any digital multimeter. Only one thing that's kind of missing from the kit in terms of probes is it would be nice to have a set of alligator clip type probes for the multimeter. That's not a deal breaker. Power this on just by hitting that power button. You can see there it's directly opened up to a auto ranging multimeter. By clicking and holding these three buttons across the top here you can switch modes. This is the oscilloscope mode, this is the signal generator mode, and this is the multimeter mode. You can also switch between the modes here by pressing the menu button and just using the arrow keys to scroll through. There's a configuration menu and in there you can change your language, the volume of the beep, whether it shuts down automatically or not, how bright the LCD is, and you can also set your def default tool between oscilloscope, generator and multimeter. It's a nice little colour screen, not super high in resolution, but certainly enough to do the job. First I'll look at the multimeter. I'll use the auto range function and just measure the voltage of these batteries. The probe pins are not quite small enough to slip into this DuPont connector and actually stay there, but they're certainly fine enough for us to probe that and get a measurement from it. I'll just switch over to the oscilloscope here and I'm just going to plug in a probe to channel 1. I'll just take this piece of solder and use that as an antenna and then I'll hit the auto range button and very quickly you can see there's noise in this room of 50 hertz which is no surprise given the proximity of the GPO which is less than 30 centimeters away. This auto ranging feature is something you'll see on any oscilloscope in comparison to a benchtop oscilloscope, this cheaper unit is only a 10 megahertz. It's definitely not going to be for the hardcore users out there. It is going to be good enough for a hobbyist like me, who's mostly working with things like Arduinos, Raspberry Pis and that sort of thing. On the top of the oscilloscope there are three ports. There are channel 1, channel 2. This third one over here is the output for the signal generator. And I'm going to put in the alligator clips here. At the moment I've got a 1000 Hz frequency tuned. So I'm just going to hook it up to this speaker here and demonstrate the signal generator. It might be a little bit hard to hear because of the rain on my tin roof, but I'll put the microphone up nice and close. I'll change it to a square wave a triangular wave, a half wave, 
and a full wave. We can change the frequency by selecting the number that you want to change and then using the up and down arrow to change it. We can also change the amplitude from 0.1 to 3.3 volts with some of the signals. We can also change the duty cycle to get different waveforms. There's everything that comes in the box once again, all laid out with an entry price of around about $100 Australian. I think this is a really good option for people who are wishing to add an oscilloscope into their tool collection without having to spend a fortune. That's it for now. See you later.